Hello my friends and welcome back, it's Milrev. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a really simple but also really effective health bar that you can move down, up, or even replenish with different items if you'd like. Today's tutorial is going to have two parts. First I'll show you guys how to make a health bar that can deplete and also replenish or reset at command or by touching a certain thing. Then we're going to show you how to make the little red indicator to show when each piece of health is lost when they hit an enemy. Once you have some room, let's go ahead and call up a game screen just so we can see what's going on here. And we can put a little above the center because you can't put solid objects below the center. Let's go ahead and call up a special object and we're going to call up a text object. This is what we're going to be using for the HP bar so you can write whatever you want. I like to keep it HP because it's short, it's simple, and we can keep the box a nice square. Make sure it's visible but turn off movable, destructive, destructible, all that stuff. I'm going to make mine just 0.3 all around. You can make it whatever size is good for your HUD. Don't want to make it too big probably, so that's a good size. Text display side, make sure it's also on Z negative. Next, we're going to be calling up an extending object. So head under special, extending, and call in a cylinder. This is what we're going to use for the HP bar back. When people see we've depleted our health bar, they can see this one. It's kind of optional, but I think it looks good. Let's make it black to show depletion. Keep it as cylinder. The size, we're going to make the X 0.18 as well as the Z. You'll see why later. And we're going to make the Y just a simple one. Also, the connection point needs to be Y minus to X plus. This is how we're going to connect it to our HP box here. Let's see what we've got. You may not be able to see it too well, but it's looking good. Now we need to make our HP bar. So we're going to go ahead and just copy this one right here. And we're going to size this one up to 0 0.20. We're also going to change the color to whatever you want to use for your health. I like the light blue personally, but you can use whatever you want. So if you do that correct, right now you should see a full nice light blue color or green or whatever you chose. However, at the moment it's not going to move anywhere because we have nothing to be able to move it. Working with extending objects can be quite frustrating, so I'm going to make it simple on you guys and relieve your frustrations today. Instead of waiting for an enemy to give us damage, we're going to just use a button, but you guys can hook the enemy's touch sensor up instead of this for your own game. Make sure that it's set for on press for the timing. Next, we're going to use a counter to count how many times we've been hit, and we're actually going to be using the countdown function. Inside the settings for this one, we're going to set the range starting value of 10, range 0 to 10. This means we have 10 hit points to work with. Next we're going to need something that's going to take the counter value and apply it to the extending object node on. So we're going to need a map node on for this. Let's call it up and we'll attach it to the counter. Go into the settings and we're going to change the input range to 0 to 10. Those will be the only values it receives. The output will be negative 1 to 0. Once you have that, you can go ahead and hook this one up to only the one you want to deplete. This other one will be the background, so we don't need to do that one. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Now we're taking damage as it's going down, then we get a little recovery item, and then we get totally replenished. Perfect. Before, you might recall that I made two cylinders, the black and the blue. We're actually going to make a third one, so you can copy either one and hook it up to the HP bar as well. Head into the settings and we're going to change it to 0.19 which is just between the other two. Fits perfectly and we're going to change the color to red. So now we have the red cylinder between the black and the light blue which is perfect but we can't just plug it into the map node on because it will go down at the same rate as the light blue and you won't be able to see it. May come as no surprise we're going to need a timer but where to put it? The best way to do this part is to copy the map and counter node ons and just put them down below. Then we're going to call up a timer node on and we're going to change the top value to 0.15. This is going to be how long the red cylinder is going to be showing to give the player a damage indicator. So we're going to attach the A button to the countdown timer. For you, you would just attach the touch sensor that's giving damage. Then we're going to attach the other two to the other ports if you're using recovery items. Then all we have to do is take this output and put it into the Y port of our red cylinder. Let's take a look. Here our character is starting to take damage through the level from different enemies and then he finds a little bit of recovery hearts to get a few of those back. He takes a little more damage and he gets fully replenished. You guys can stick this on your HUD and it'll look amazing in your game. Also, always remember, if you feel like your life is headed in a negative direction, maybe you feel good sometimes with your friends or family, 
but overall you feel like you're stressed or you're sick or things are just getting to you in general. Before you feel like it's too much, you can always turn to God and His infinite love will always give you more than you could ask for, dream of, or imagine. Until next time, happy building and God bless. <laughs>